So in Fusion 360, let's say you want to cut this part, this symmetrical part, perfectly in half. I'm going to show you two methods. Let's start with the beginner method and then maybe talk about some of the challenges with that. And then we'll show you a little bit faster way here at the end. So I'm going to start a sketch. This is how I definitely have seen beginners do it. This is how I do it sometimes. I'm going to start a sketch and then come and create a rectangle that's a little bit bigger than our part. The one thing I want to be careful of is I want to make sure it's connected to the midpoint. The little triangle po pops up and now we're connected to the midpoint of this design. So when I come in and now hit extrude, I want to be sure to select everything. We're going to cut this out. We could add some intelligence over in the extent type. We choose all and so it always cuts all the way through. That makes it dynamic. That's good. The one challenge or the one problem is that even though I selected midpoint, I did not include some dimensions. So when I make changes to this, make this a little bit wider and update it, you'll notice this no longer cuts it in half because my original cutting sketch is not intelligent. It's not bigger, always bigger than our design. So maybe what I should have done is add this dimension here, make it always a little bit bigger than the design. It's always a little wider and a little taller. So that's going to work for us, but let's look at a little bit easier, faster way than sketching. First, go up to construct, choose midplane. I want you to select the two outer faces, hit OK. Next, we're going to go up to modify, choose the split body. And first you select the body. You can choose it in the uh, model here or in the browser. You can also come over to the splitting tool and choose the plane. All right, so this is going to split this in half. We hit OK. Next, you can hide the body in the browser here. Choose to hide it, or if you want to get rid of it instead, right click and choose remove. Delete is a little bit different. Remove is going to actually get rid of the body, but also add a feature in the timeline that's editable so we can bring that body back. I hope this helps. I'll see you guys in the next video.